Welcome, my name is Jake Weeb. Today I'm going to show you how to drill and tap a North Start engine block to accept our Sure Grips 500 series cylinder head studs. Here's what you're going to need to supply to install the stud kit. A good half inch drive electric drill, a roll of masking tape, an air blower attachment for your compressed air supply, preferably with an extension like this to get to the bottom of the bolt holes, an 11 16 wrench, a 15 16 wrench, a ratchet with an 11 16 socket, or you can use another wrench, a tap handle, a can of carburetor cleaner or a brake parts cleaner, both work very well, a can of penetrating lubricant like WD 40 as well as a rubber mallet. A good solid one is, is, uh, is preferable. Your North Star engine block out of the vehicle. You're going to want to mount it to a stand if you have one. Um, this particular stand, it's made by Green Manufacturing Incorporated out of Michigan. Um, this is actually one of the stands that I'd purchased from the, the GM Livonia engine assembly plant where the North Star was originally made. Um, we do have two of them, one's in Manitoba, one's in Ontario. I'll tell you, if you're doing this a lot, it's, it's definitely well worth having one. I think it weighs a, weighs a good 500 pounds, it seems like, anyways, when you're trying to move it. Um, it's, it's very solid. Makes it really easy. It has a, has a hand crank here, so if you want to rotate your engine, then you just go ahead and crank the wheel, and then it moves it to wherever you, wherever you want. So we do a lot of work on these stands. It's, it was definitely worth the investment. Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do once you have the heads off is check for cracks. There's no point in putting time and effort into an engine block, or even money for that matter, if the engine block is no good. Cracked blocks can't really be repaired properly, so don't even bother. Um, first, start along the cylinder walls. If you see any cracks running down the cylinder walls or on the edge, make sure you replace the engine block. Right around the cylinders, around the uh, the coolant, coolant jacket walls here, you're going to want to check there, the cylinder banks. Um, down here, by the oil drain back passages, you're going to want to check for cracks. We've seen them crack all the way along, actually. And it's actually most common on 2000 or 2001 blocks, uh, mostly 2000. This particular casting here is a 2002 casting. And again, check the other side. Um, we'll show you the, the bottom end real quick too. This is where your main bearings will go in. Again, this is just a brand new engine block so it has nothing installed like that yet. Just a little bit of info on the North Star. The passages through the bottom end of the engine block where the, where the main bolts go, oil flows past those bolts right into these passages here and that's what lubes your, your main bearings. Check in the webs, make sure there's no cracks. It's not too commonly found there but it never hurts. Again, along here, this one doesn't have any cracks, you'll just see some casting flash. And that, <clears throat> that's normal. We've checked for cracks and this block is good. So now we can drill and tap our bolt holes. So first things first, let's tape up the surface of the block. That'll prevent any chips from falling in areas that they shouldn't. This is how I like to tape up the engine blocks um, using masking tape. I like going with vertical strips like this, exposing the bolt holes. Then we'll go horizontally one more time and that'll leave everything covered up except the bolt holes. That kind of saves the time of cutting them out. And just like that, all the bolt holes are left exposed and deck surface is completely protected from scratches and no chips will fall in anywhere. So we're all set to drill and tap. So we're going to take our line and fixture tool, line up the smooth hole that's used for drilling with the hole that we want to drill out. We're going to use the, the M11 bolts, it's still the original threads. So we're going to bolt this down. Now we're 
going to take the bolts using a 15 16th wrench, just like that. Now it's time to drill. Now when you're drilling, you don't want to be leaning on the drill. So you put the drill bit through the hole, you'll feel where it's straight because the, uh, the alignment fixture will, will hold the drill straight, but you don't want it to be kind of pulling down or, or pulling to the side. You want to kind of make sure that it's staying straight. And you go ahead and drill the, the hole out, but you don't want to use any cutting fluids whatsoever. Just like that, the hole is drilled. Then we'll take the bolts out. We'll quickly rotate it. Tighten the bolts once again. Now we're ready to tap. So we'll take our tap, get a little bit of lubricant on the on the thread on, on the tap, threads of the tap. We'll put it in the hole, thread it through. And it's a very tight fit. There's no side to side movement there, so you know you're going to tap a straight hole this way. So thread it in. You're going to feel it start cutting threads. Right now it's cutting threads into the aluminum. So we'll just quickly go ahead. Just like that, you'll see we pretty much have it sunk as far as we can, and turn that tap back out. And that's the first pass on that hole. Later on we're going to come back and we're going to do a second pass on all the holes to make sure they're deep enough. But this is the start.